It's eerie at night where the stones stand around, marking the beds of those underground. And here in this haven so beautifully kept, there is history beneath every manicured step. Yet there's a haunting disgust with the dearly deceased. It's the poop on the graves where our dead rest in peace. A Canadian goose can poop quite a lot. They poop on average every half an hour, and it's a considerable amount when you have about 200 geese in the area. Even for a field as large as the Nanaimo Cemetery. Of course, it's not those who rest in peace that are actually troubled by this, but it's more than just a nuisance for visitors. What we want people to feel is that they're able to come here and spend time with their loved ones and, and reflect and the geese are getting in the way of that occasionally. Studies have shown that goose poop contains uh, E. coli and salmonella. It's really um, dangerous and it can be toxic and not something that you'd want anybody to come into contact with. And so the city is taking steps to keep the geese out of the graveyard. And that's a task that puts a variety of creative ideas into action. The thing that's essential about being successful in scaring geese is catching them out. Geese don't run on a clock like we do. They just come here when they feel like it. And so we have to be available to get them when they come here. Some of the more interesting techniques we use are lasers. Um, you can shine a laser at a goose's feet and that will really scare them and, and they'll get right out of here as well. Uh, similarly, we could also use a remote control vehicle. One of the more effective counter goose measures has been the use of a well-trained falcon handled by the Pacific Northwest Raptors. So the geese program right now is just uh, a variable schedule of visits. We come several times a week with these guys or we use other methods as well. We use uh, a dog sometimes um, and some other methods and we'll clear the geese off and help try and make this uh, an unattractive site for them so they're not spending a lot of time here. What they do is they use the raptor to scare the geese. They'll, it'll swoop and, and also circle the geese and that's really quite intimidating. He loves having a job. These birds love to, to work. You know, they don't work too hard. Obviously, we need to make sure they've got it, got it good. Um, but they're fantastic. They love their jobs. They love coming out here and, and flying and, and having some exercise. And then they're relaxed afterwards and happy. And it's wonderful to see that. Of course, the city has many parks to displace the geese from and is cautious about how it redirects them. Well, you know, this is something we need to think about long term because are we just displacing the geese to another city property? And sometimes we may be. Um, sometimes the geese could leave here and, and head towards Westwood Lake or Bowen Park or maybe the beach down at Departure Bay. Uh, and that's not really what we want. So that's where we start to think about using the, these techniques in all city properties. They're a great tool when our birds can't fly. You know, there's, sometimes they can't fly. Bad weather, dogs, traffic. Mm -hmm. So having alternative methods is also really effective too. Just the more weapons in your arsenal, the better. The city also wants the public to know that the methods used to scare the geese are safe and won't harm them. You have to be licensed to scare geese away. So the Canadian Wildlife Service has licensed the city of Nanaimo and its staff and our contractors to scare geese using these methods. Of course, even with goose control tactics, there are times when the geese find their way back. So next time you visit the cemetery, just watch your step. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Derek Johnstone.